Mississippi Moonshine. Moonshine and out. No, moonshine and getting started. I think if I can find my buttons. Hang on a minute. There we go. I found him. Bud, what's up? Moonshadow, how are you? Voltage, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we are we are back on the farm. Some Jamie Davis and Soul Gravy Mississippi Moonshine playing in the background there. Before that was Neon Dan. Uh, or Dan to the Future, I guess his name has changed. Dan to the Future. Uh, midnight Playtime on Bandcamp. If you want to go check out any of his stuff. Express Point Music and Chat get you there you can i think i've got the night playtime's link in the about section here on twitch i'm not real sure if you're watching later on youtube though you can find all those links down below please do go check them out uh lots of other channels as well my main channel youtube.com slash deuce ms my secondary channel youtube.com slash pixel pixel deuce plays and i hope everything is holding up right looks like i had a little buffer there uh so we need to plant uh, all of this has been done. All this is good. Uh, weeds are growing, even though we just sprayed. Uh, that's bad. We literally just sprayed this, I do believe. Uh, so that's bad. Either way, uh, we can do some planting now, I think. I think that's where we're at. Uh, let me check. Hang on. Let me, ch let me check my, my key binds real quick. Make sure everything is there. It is sweet. There we go. I think we're ready to plant. I do. Uh, J Dog, what's up? I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. All right, let's try this. This thing may be a bit much uh, for this guy, but get all those things attached there. All right, let's do some uh, do some calculations here. Auto width uh, enable. Got it. Steering on. Oh, load or create a track. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, let's load that track then. Then go back and go auto width, and then we'll do that. Then we should be good. There we go. And I'm just going to turn this on and drop it. Drop it right here. And we'll just run across this little, this little area. There we go. And then we'll back up and get all of it. Oof. This thing right here is tough, isn't it? There we go. Heck yeah, sugar beets. More sugar beets. Gotta get them done. We'll get turned around. Wow, that goes way back there, doesn't it? Drop it. Go again. We're going to do every other row. Going through. All right. Sugar beets going well. Going well. Uh, the, the biggest issue we're having right now is uh, money. It's money. Also, I, I did get the uh, lime crusher uh, or the rock crusher to lime put in. I did it just a few minutes ago. Okay, this sucker goes 11 miles an hour. That's pretty good right there. That's pretty dang good. Uh, tomorrow, I think we'll be back on, uh, on the community farm unless I do take my tech day tomorrow to finish stuff up. That I don't want to get done. Uh, if if I do, then Wednesday we'll be back on uh, the community farm over on Lands of La Macha. Fantastic map, actually. Really, really nice map there, Lands of La Mancha is. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get the sugar beet uh, done, and we're gonna do some cut and some not. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of a 
kind of a hit or miss type situation here, but. Yep, there we go. Just wanted to get past the tree. There we go. Uh, so this area up here should be really, really good. We're going to hop out here and take a look real quick. Uh, expected yield is 98, 99.1 uh, per hectare, uh, where the uh, sugar cane was 50, but I don't know which I don't know which one's better. Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, also, this is using a variable seed rate, which is fantastic. I got it on auto. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, you can see the top left there. I wish I had my zoom in thing set up. Uh, the top left there, you can see that right now it's using the maximum because we're in the loamy sand. We're in the worst part of it. So the better the area is, the less seed it uses, apparently. For most of this field, it's going to be nine uh, seed per square meter, it seems. But that's cool. What's up, B. Hammond? How's it going? Hammond? Hammond. Hammond. Yeah, we'll go with Hammond. I think. I don't remember. I'm just going to call you B. Easier. I'm bad with names, and I don't, I don't like mispronouncing names. But I do it all the time. I remember you. I just don't remember how I pronounced it. But yeah, this is actually going quite well. Uh, for most of this, we're not going to have to worry about a uh, uh, the variable seed rate. It's going to be nine. Uh, it looks like on the top side here, it's like seven or six, which is really nice. We'll see when it changes here in a moment. Oh, there's that bad spot there with 10 seeds per square meter. Right here, it should change to... Yeah, see, this is green. This is nice. This is all eight. Uh, eight per square meter there, which is really nice. Go. Yeah, I didn't know how many seeds it was going to use, so it's actually good that it's going going pretty nicely here. John Deere's got more than enough horsepower for it, which is nice. Always good, always good. Bird, dude, that bird. That bird's terrible, isn't it, Moon? That bird's awful. <laughs> it's just awful, awful terrible. tree I saw it I saw it y'all thought I was gonna hit it I didn't oh I think I just tabbed out back because I was trying to hit alt c and I think I hit the windows key or alt x rather oh yeah seed rate's going real well this bottom side's eight as well so uh then it changes about right here there it is nine we go eight nine and ten most of the time here uh, this section should just be 8 to 9 and then back to 8, uh, vice versa, so should be good. Variable seed rate should be fine. I'm glad we're getting to use this variable seed rate. Uh, that mod that we have does not do it. So. I do need to put down that, uh, that lime crusher before we skip time because I am going to be skipping time. Uh, again, this is a learning process for me so we can learn precision farming more than anything else. So, uh, Don't hate me if I skip time or if I'm using some stuff that may be a bit, a bit OP. Don't hate me because of it. And I would go all the way down, but I think I'm going to, uh, instead of skipping a row here, I think I'm just going to do this. Then we can come back and finish up this little area here on the side. We should have enough seed to go the whole way, though. Uh, I think until we get over into that loamy area that really bad area right over there's gonna take a lot of seed so The loamy sand area so I'm gonna download the mods for MP server uh, Any farms still open or all taken? I think there I think there's two still open, bud I think there's I know Indy got one and Brian got one uh, Tia Tia said she was gonna be playing on the community farm, which is cool. Uh, I, I don't know if she's doing 
videos on it or not, but I need to go uh, check out and see uh, what's going. On. I haven't even I didn't even load anything up this weekend, honestly. Like I was I was not even at the computer this weekend, really. I, I was kind of in and out, but uh, didn't really really look at anything on the computer this weekend. So I think I'm gonna hit the tree, so we're gonna go around it. We just got that one little edge there to get, and we're good. Onward we go, onward and upward. In two weeks and nothing to do? Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Take it easy, do some farming. That's always a good thing, right? I wonder if you put fertilizer in this, if it'll do variable fertilizer as well. Uh, more than likely it will because it's uh, it should only be using the fertilizer it needs. It shouldn't be using it anymore. I'm guessing it probably does. If not, it'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Wouldn't be working the way it's intended. I wouldn't think anyway. Wouldn't be working quite right. And we're probably gonna that next row we'll probably hit a little bit of that uh that loamy sand again and then way over there is gonna be nothing but loamy sand so nine seeds per square meter we're not gonna have enough to finish it it's gonna be it's i thought it was gonna be close but we're not gonna have enough we we'll have to go grab some more seed which is fine because i think our uh i think our multi-fruit silo over there holds seeds uh If it does, we'll just take the trailer, grab the rest of the seed, come back and dump it. Uh, if not, we'll we'll dump it on the ground and figure it out later, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to do at that point. We'll just have to we'll just have to dump it and come back for it. Yeah, see some of this right here. You see the little little three red dots up there? That's what that is. That's that's where it's jumping to that loamy sand, and it just eats seeds up. Yeah, we're going to, have to run and grab some more. Well, at least we'll get this row done anyway. Uh, maybe. Yeah, 2%. Cool. Yeah, we're going to hold off right there. We'll run and grab some more. With the, I may get rid of my little truck, too, to be quite honest with you. I don't, I don't know that I need it, but it is nice in case I need to throw something in the back of it and run it over here. Just hang out right here for a minute. Uh, go finally. Grab our little truck here. Come on, grab a little truck. Grab. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. That's why. Yeah. All right. Grab the truck. We got lime. We got liquid fert, and then we still got the fertilizer spreader here. Even though I don't think we're gonna need it. Um, variable spray for the weeds is, is definitely going to be needed. So. Go. Off we go. I think we're going to we're gonna avoid that bridge. We're going to go around this way. This looks silly, though. This truck should not be pulling this thing. Um, yeah, I don't think that would actually work in real life by the way. Oh, also, I forgot about that. Hang on. Let's, let's get out of the way for a minute here. Let me, let me go do some, I'm going to do some landscaping. This is awfully, awfully rough right through here.
Okay. Uh, painting. Is it that color? It's a little bit lighter, isn't it? This color? Uh, we can probably use that color. It'd be all right. It's like rocks, though. go let's grab some grass here i'm just going to try to get rid of these bushes that are real tall that are right here up against this thing just to kind of clear it out a little bit so it looks a little bit better didn't want to paint that. there we go let's say i didn't want to paint those okay then we need to do trees uh, plants. Plants. There we go. That's what we want. Put our meadow back down here, actually. Oh, no. We don't want that. We want this. There we go. Put our meadow back down. I guess I could have just done that, couldn't I? I didn't realize that. That would have been way better. I don't have to do it twice. I wasted money. Wasted money. get these off the edge of the field at least on this side for now we'll come back to this later uh, I'll do some more later on this but right now at least try to knock this side out anyway bird I hear the bird. I hear it. Oh God, things so loud. So loud, so annoying. Yeah, I've been meaning to do this anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and go around. I still was just gonna do that side, but I've been meaning to do this anyway. Let's go ahead and do it. I'll get the ones right off the edge of the field. If, oh, crap. Uh, if nothing else, I did not mean to click on the field there. Especially right here on this side. This isn't on the field, but it... What in the world? Where did the hit the hitbox on the trees? When did that start? That was weird. Uh, let's make that a touch bigger. Oh, raining. Getting a little bit more on the field than I want, but. Yeah, all right. I feel like if this is loam on this end, I need to probably plow a little bit more up here, go all the way to the road or something with it. If this is the good ground anyway, I think it'd be beneficial. I've wasted a lot of money right here doing this. All right, there we go. Cleared out around the field. I was going to get rid of you too. Okay. Now, let's go. There we go. Is this precision farming more crossplay or no? Uh, I don't 
I don't know if it is, J-Dog. I'm not. I'm on the single player map right now anyway. Uh, I'm doing my single player stuff on Nova. Uh, the precision farming is not on the crossplay map though, at all. So, uh, but I don't know if it is. Looks like that truck's got some serious horsepower. It does, but uh, when you hit a bump, you can tell it, it rocks it all over the place. Look at that. You get going too fast around the curve, it'll let you know. Look at it, it's just floating. Sometimes it floats one way or the other. Had to start over on your no man's land. Plus you've been working on Western Wilds. Uh, both farm energy difficulties and with cows, chickens, bees, greenhouses for, oh nice. Yeah, so you got a lot of stuff going on there. Oh dude, yeah, this is, this is just, this is stupid. <laughs> this is this is there's no need to be pulling this thing with the with the truck but i didn't want to detach the tractor and all that mess I figured it would be just as easy uh if it holds the seat it holds it if not then uh, or if it pulls the trailer i guess with seat in it if not then i guess it was a wasted trip A nice ramp right there. Trees in the way though. Excuse me. Oh, they actually stopped. Wow, I didn't think they were gonna stop. They were gonna walk through the trailer. Actually stopped though. Use a medium tractor or anything else? I mean, that's what I've got. I've got the John Deere 4755. Uh, it would be much better for this, but I just didn't feel like disconnecting it. It's the only tractor I've got, though. So. I'm just praying that my my multi my multi fruit silo holds seed. I'm gonna try to go across that bridge. It's probably not gonna work, though. It's a long way back down the other side there. Twenty five seems to be a good spot though. For being able to steer and, and keep it under control. Almost. I thought for sure we were going to get hung up. Did good though. Sweet. I don't know why I'm, I'm drifting so far off the road there. Back over on the road, man. We're already in bad enough shape as it is. It's a dumb side on this thing right now. I guess it's only got one dump side, doesn't it? The back. That's it. Oh, also, I need to look to see how much the uh, uh, silo is going to be production. Production. 25000 for that thing. Man. All right. Well, I planned on 100000 for something else. I figure that's 25000 is good enough. We can get some we can get some lime crushing going on here in a minute. After I get this field planted, that is. And I'm hoping this works. Hoping I can just back the tractor up there. Definitely hold seeds. I'm hoping I can back the planter up there and just knock that out. The goal, anyway. Needs rolling. I'm going to have to go grab a roller. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get us a roller and get a roll before the night's end.
There we go. Heck yeah, that was easy. That's the way to do it right there. That's the way to do it. Easy peasy. There we go. Had trouble figuring out if I had unfolded it or folded it. Apparently I had not done anything with it. <laughs> yeah, that's a way to go right there. Uh, I'm still going to have to go get a roller though. But that's okay. We can make that happen. little lease for a roller is not such a big deal. You kind of want to smooth those little hills out, though. Yeah, that multi-fruit silo is fantastic. It's great for this. finish this top side and then come do all this bad stuff down here at the bottom last it's gonna take a ton of seed down here though yeah, the variable seed rate's kind of nice Using a lower amount of seed. I wonder if the what the difference is. Does it use maximum amount of seed uh, without using the precision farming, the very variable seed rate? It's like would it always be ten seeds per square meter for sugar beets versus using eight on the good stuff or nine on the mediocre stuff? I'm just, I mean, I'm curious. I don't know what the comparison is to the to the standard base game. We were definitely not gonna be able to finish it with with one one load. And this right here is this is on the good stuff. This is on the eight seeds per square meter. So we'll just let's truck on across right here. See where this brings us. Right there on the end. There we go. I don't know if chickens eat sorghum either. What's up, Funsky? How's it going? Um, that's a good question, actually. Uh, so I typically don't do sugar beets or, or sugar cane or anything, but that's that's the reason we're doing it on this map is because I never do it. So, just uh, we're we're doing the South American style farming here. 
They do eat sorghum. There you go. I had no idea. Get a roll, then we can start to uh, get our lime in, uh, in the stone crop, I mean our stone in the uh, lime production, stone crusher. Then we can start skipping some time here and, and harvest some sugar beets today, maybe. Can't promise that's going to happen, but that's, that's the goal anyway. That's it. That's the whole field done right there. All them sugar beets. Jump across the field. Hope we're not doing too much damage with the rain out here. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that. What's up, Bob? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you, good to see you. Eee, close. close. Can I just push that over there? Will that work if I do that? I just go in there. It does not appear to work like that. <laughs> I was hoping it would, but I don't think it will. I don't think it, I don't think it will. Nice snap. Heck yeah, dude. Nothing wrong with that at all. All right, let's return this thing. Return. I'll have to lease it again at some point, but not right now. Uh, we need a roller. Off to the shop. Now it's a waiting game. Yeah, we're gonna skip time though. Uh, well, not not now. It's a waiting game. I gotta go get the roller, get the field rolled, and then while we're while we're waiting, we will uh, we'll be doing some some lime production. So I want to get that set down too, and then we'll then we'll be in the waiting game. What's up, Styles? How's it going? Just got out of work. That's always good. And you've got tomorrow off. That's a good thing. That's a real good thing. Right, we get this field rolled. We get our lime production put down. Again, spending some money, but
Better than uh, better than trying to take out loans and buy everything. Just lease it for now. We're still making a little bit of money. We're not making great money, but with the with the added uh, benefit of direct selling our sugar, uh, we are making. Uh, as you see there, we spent a lot of money. 1700 bucks uh, so far is what we've made, uh, and that's just uh, August. That's just today. Seventeen hundred bucks on that. Uh, plus 11,000 of just straight sugar cane we sold. I shouldn't have sold it. I should have held on to it. It was 250,000 liters. I should have just stuck it in the multigrain silo, but I put it down after I sold it. So. Uh, I, I mean, probably, Bob. I just don't know when. I'll probably do at least one more of it. Let me check out one more house. I'd like to see what the uh, the owners that want a big dog house or something need. So we'll probably do it one more time, yeah. Hang on just a second. Oh, I can't hear the rain hitting. Man, that's what I was was wanting to wanting to hear there. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do one more. We'll do one more pet flipper. I might take one week and just take Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and just knock out the rest of the luxury DLC uh, and the rest of the pet flipper DLC too, but I don't know I don't know if I want to do that or just make videos on it. I think videos would probably do better for house flipper. I can just cut them, get straight to the point, put them out, you know. So. Yeah, well, I mean, I said many, many, many times that I didn't plan on doing Pet Flipper, but somebody gifted it to me anyway, so I was like, all right, well, got it. we got to do something on it now. So, <laughs> yeah, many, many, many times I said I, well, I didn't plan on playing Pet Flipper. So. The Pet DLC, whatever. Just because it didn't really seem like it would be that interesting, but it's actually pretty cool. I like what they did with it. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think it'd be that interesting. House Flipper's done a great job. Frozen District, they've done a great job with the game um, and keeping the content interesting, for sure. Um, I think when the HG, HG uh, TV DLC came out, uh, they nailed it with the, uh, the layout of uh, the overhead map and picking your houses and all that kind of stuff. So... Uh, I think that was a great change they made to the game all the way around. Uh, it's not realistic by any means, but uh, it's kind of cool, though. But yeah, I mean, I would like to at least see what they got to offer. I'm just going to sit down one day and record a bunch of them and, and edit them as I can and then uh, put them out on a steady basis till they're done. Um, I don't, when's the Farm Flipper DLC? Do we have a date for that yet? That's the one I'm really waiting on. I'm going to do some farmhouses. I figure if we can go all the way around the field here, we'll probably end up in a much better spot at the end. Yeah, I mean, I may, I may do some more. Like I said, I may just sit down and just knock them all out. I don't know. Because we've still got a few houses left on the Luxury Flipper, too. Or at least one more house, anyway. They're filling in as your pets? I mean, that's a good way to do it, man, honestly. Um, appar apparently, somebody smarter than I did a study somewhere and said that uh, pets actually reduce stress and all that kind of stuff, so... Still waiting for the other DLC styles. Yeah, the so the luxury DLC was pretty neat. Um, the home and garden, uh, the HGTV DLC was fantastic. I really liked it. Uh, I think we knocked all those out. And then uh, the cyberpunk DLC was pretty cool. It was only one building, but it was pretty neat. The moon, the moon base was kind of interesting. 
Uh, they, again, Frozen District's done a great job. I just, I didn't think the pets thing would be that interesting to me, but it's actually not bad. Uh, they did a good job of incorporating it for everybody, I think, and not just for people that were just solely interested in House Flipper. Alright, there we go. Now we can start our runs here, hopefully. We'll do the short side first. We can get it out of the way. Uh, and I think we can actually start right here. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's fix that. There we go. Get that fixed first. I'm just going to leave the roller down. It's not going to matter. It's not going to hurt anything. So. Having that headland all the way around give us some room to play with. So that's good. But yeah, Styles, the uh, all the DLCs they put out, in my opinion, even even the pet slimmer, which I didn't think I'd be interested uh, interested in. Not that it was not going to be any good, just that I didn't I didn't think it'd be that interesting. But it is. Um, so far, everything they've put out is definitely worth picking up when you when you can, of course. Uh, it's definitely worth getting it, in my opinion, anyway. My humble my humble little opinion. Uh, it is definitely worth getting. Just got back to the spot we did. Sweet. Yeah, I knew the building the building right there is gonna be the hardest part, so needs rolling yep all right uh so we're we're getting maximum maximum uh efficiency here i don't know the sugar cane never said needed rolling i guess i could have rolled it but uh it didn't say needs rolling so uh i'm guessing that's why we were at like 90 percent of 100 or whatever instead of 100 percent uh this time we're getting 123 percent or whatever off the stuff that's been done already uh, i'm going to skip around here and do this if I can get if I can get past the steps anyway. <laughs> you seen a trailer for House Flipper 2 a month or two ago? I haven't seen that yet. Uh, is there a House Flipper 2 coming? If there is, I find it I find it weird that they're still putting out DLC and they're talking about House Flipper 2 already. Wow, okay, cool. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be on that then. Uh, I'll be playing that on YouTube though, so. Should be fun though. Um, House Flipper was one of those things I accidentally played, and then enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> I accidentally played it, and then then really liked it. So, well, that didn't work, did it? So, got it this way then. There we go. Get out away from whatever's going on there. Then we'll have just a little bit right here on the end to get, I think. Yeah. 
Looks like you can build in two. Yeah, dude. So I didn't know when I did when I opened up the pet slip, my doors were gone, and I was like, "What happened to the doors?" I didn't realize you could go through and put windows and doors in. I'd been wanting that for the longest, uh, where we could move the doors and stuff around on the exterior of the house. Uh, so um, it may make some of just the the houses that you buy to redo yourself without the missions or whatever uh, even better. That way you can change stuff around all you want to. Uh, but yeah, being able to do an actual uh, like from bare, from bare bones, uh, build would be fantastic, I think. Just, you know, it gives you that, that extra, that extra creativity that you can put stuff wherever you want. I think it's pretty neat. You can change stairs too. Oh, that's right, you can. Yeah, somebody said that. You can change stairs in, uh, in the in the new update as well. Yeah, I mean, they did a lot to it, man. Again, I'm kind of curious to see what they do with Farm Flipper DLC. That's going to be kind of interesting, I think. That's going to be pretty neat. It's going to be pretty neat. I think the possibility they might take the new DLCs and put them in House Flipper 2. They might. They might. That's a very good possibility. It might be part of the base game in House Flipper 2. Uh, I hope I hope they do something like that, where they take some of the DLC and it's just part of the game in House Flipper 2. Like Home and Garden TV, for instance. HGTV DLC. I hope that's just part of the game for House Flipper 2. Because I, I liked it. I liked that whole, that whole setup they had going on there. Well, this is seven miles an hour it takes a while, doesn't it? <laughs> it takes a long while. I definitely need to get this these hills right here. You see how rough that is. Uh, I'm surprised it actually gets it, but it does. I need to smooth some of these out once we get some more money made. Just base game, no man's land. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, dude. Nothing wrong with it at all. Base game farm sim is still fun. You don't even have to have mods. Giants has Giants has made so many deals with so many different companies. I think they've done a fantastic job of, of getting as much stuff in here as they possibly could. But yeah, you can do a, you can do a lot without mods. Uh, play many different ways, lots of different ways. And I think that's the best thing about farm sim, right? There's so many different ways to play, so many different maps, uh, so many different mods you can add or not add or whatever. So much stuff you can do. What's up, pizza? How's it going? Does anybody out pizza the hut? My yard birds can hear your in-game birds, I swear. they I mean, it's possible, dude. Listen to this thing. I got music playing, I got the tractor going, and that bird is overwhelmingly the loudest thing here. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane how loud that thing is. Absolutely insane. Well, 
Well, this rolling's taking a lot longer than I remember. I forgot there's only seven miles an hour, and this is a pretty big piece of property here. This isn't, this isn't a small piece of land. I mean, that's the that's the standard size like small field in the game. So that's the whole map right there. If you're if you're curious, so that's a pretty large field. This is about the size of one piece of land uh, in No Man's Land. So. <laughs> I yelled bang, they took off. Try it. I don't I don't know if it'll work on the game the game birds. <laughs> yeah, lifting in about an hour. Probably leaving about 45 minutes. Cool. Cool, cool. Been good. Been doing good. Uh just streaming. Working outside a little bit since it's been hot. Been nice and hot outside. 90 degrees, 80, 85 to 90. Did a lot over the weekend. My back fence line is getting kind of there's always been trees out there since we moved in, but it started growing where I couldn't mow between my crepe myrtles and my uh, my fence line, so I had to get out there and clean off a bunch of it. Looks like I'm going to come back down here one more time. I got a little bit of a strip there that I'm going to fix, but other than that, I think that little spot where we just kind of went around right there should be the last, the last pass. So about two more passes, we'll be done. Why are those birds so absurdly loud? Uh, I, whoever whoever made the map, apparently, uh, I don't know if it's a uh, an XML file that can be changed. Or J Rock said it wasn't an XML, so it, it has to be in the the map creation itself. I, I think it was just overlooked, uh, but it's 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 so absurdly loud. I just try not to get in this area very often. <laughs> I try to ignore them, if at all possible. Yeah, they're, they're so loud. It's that tree right there. There's one there, there's one there. It's the one right there. Uh, that's where it's at. And I don't know if I cut down the tree if it goes away. Probably not. Bob said he saw him coming out of the ground in game, so... Not gonna, not gonna matter if I cut the tree down. I don't think. All right, we'll we'll go check the difference in the loamy sand, the sandy loam, and the loam here in a second on yield, and see, uh, see what the difference is gonna be after rolled uh, for all those. Hopefully, it's better. Hopefully, it's a lot better. There you go, J Dog. Found you a bird. There's some on this side too. Terrible, terrible idea. This one's not as bad, but it's still pretty loud. I mean, that really is best case scenario. Uh, I just don't think it's worth the time, honestly, to even mess with them. All right, last little bit of rolling. And that's done. Uh, hopefully I can get enough sugar beet off of this where we won't have to uh, won't have to plant this again for a while. There we go. All rolled up. It's called Leave the tractor right there. Let it hang out for a minute. We're going to turn that roller. We'll let them come pick it up from the store, though. Return. There we go. Uh, let's put down, while I'm here, I think I want to put down my rock crusher right here if I can. We'll see. Let's see if it'll go there. Production. Uh, it will absolutely go right here. This actually work pretty well. Oh, no, I want this one. Uh, shall I level an area first? Maybe I should level the area. Nah, let's just throw it down there, see what happens. Uh, yeah, that dropped it down quite a bit, didn't it? All right, well, let's move the tractor now. <laughs> We're going to have to move it so I can smooth this out again. I should have leveled it first, I guess. Oh, that made a mess there too, didn't it?
Yeah, all this right here is just a mess. Go like maximum intensity here. This doesn't affect the crops, right? No, this doesn't affect the ground state at all. Okay, good. Means I can still do the do the field if need be. That's gonna run through some money. I should have I should have taken care of the whole thing to level it off quite a bit. Alright, let's go over here. Yeah, that's running through some money for real, but if you look, you see this hump right here in it, right? See that hump? I'll just start there and I'll do this. Especially right here, this is bad. Yeah, I'm using a lot of money, but... Much more manageable now, though. Yeah, that's good. That's nice. I like it. Working out much better there. Oh, another one right here, huh? Sweet. All right. There we go. We spent a chunk of money, but uh, all a lot smoother. We'll get across there now. That looks good. I'm just glad it doesn't mess with the, uh, the crop. Willing to play Farm Sim 19 with anyone? So Silly Sally actually has um, uh, a map up for uh, for new players. Uh, I think Sally's still running that. Uh, Styles, if you're in the if you're in the Deuce Court, find Silly Sally there and uh, and get with her because she's she's. I mean, it's specifically for new players. They're all they're all learning the game together on Farm Sim 19. So um, definitely definitely look up Silly Sally. I think I think that could be fun for for all of you. I've got stones in here somewhere. Go. Oh, that's right, Bob. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, if you're on console, it's got to be other people on console. I forgot about that. You're right, Bob. Yeah, this truck is just not good for this trailer, I don't think. Trucks, the, the tractor's not doing anything right now. We're going to swap over to it. Farm number four. All righty. That's how you do that. <laughs> Probably not quite how that's supposed to work, but. Yeah, if you were on PC, that'd be different, I guess. Yeah, that's right. It's not crossplay. Never mind then. Sorry about that. Oh, wait a minute. I need to check production here, don't I? Lime. Uh, storing, yes. Uh, they put water in there too. Dang it, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a water trailer too, man. Dang it all. All right, let's go get some water. I reckon. Wait, can I just use the wrench, or does that just show me the production? Doesn't mean production. Yeah, I need a lot more stone. I'm gonna need some ground just to plow up, just to get the stone off of it. I think it. I think it'd be helpful. What's up, Gargoyle? How's it going, buddy? Hope your stream went well. Yeah, 
I guess we're gonna need a water trailer. I'm gonna lease one though, I'm not gonna buy one. I think buying one would be a waste. After we get that done though, we can start skipping time, get these sugar beets grown, and then we'll have to see what we have to do for weeds. Alright, let's lease a water trailer. Uh, something simple. It's fine. What am I looking for? Where are they at? I don't even know where they're at. They're just under trailers, maybe? No? <laughs> I have no idea where they're at. Uh, slurry tanks... Bailers, I'm, I'm overlooking them somewhere. You can be under like animals. Oh, it's animal transport. Animals. Oh yeah, here we go. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> they're, they're right here. I found them. I found them. All right, we just need something like this, right? This holds 7,300. Uh, that holds 8,000. Not, not worth the difference. Not worth the difference. Uh, for 9,000, let's just go ahead and buy it. I think. Oh, God, I hate buying stuff without any money. I know I have... It says I have money, but that's a loan. That's not, that's not real. That's not real life money. <laughs> it's just a loan. That's all that is. Our sugar just ticked over, I think. 22, yes, we made like 400, 500? We made like 500 bucks off of that? No, 400 and something. And yeah, we made 400 and some change off of that last sugar sale. That's pretty good. And I think we're, I think we're pumping out about a thousand at a time here. A thousand an hour, maybe. Uh, about 400 bucks an hour it's not bad we cannot hire help though because we'll be we'll be losing money if we do that right now uh, but hopefully these sugar beet and cut sugar beet we're going to put in there will make a world of difference um we'll store it all uh let it all become sugar Man just ran right out in front of me, didn't it? Uh, I don't know if we can actually get water from the from the river either, or, or the water or the lake. We're gonna find out. Don't know if that's even possible. Uh, if that's even possible. All right. Hold that thought. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Off we go. Let's go see if we can get some water out of the out of the lake now. It'll be interesting to see, I guess. Car just right on out there in front of us. Oh, we can't see the game. Sorry. Good call. Thanks. I thought I hit the button. Uh, I unmuted the game is what I did. <laughs> We're good now. We're good now. <laughs> uh, well, I couldn't anyway. I could see it fine. I don't know what happened to y'all. <laughs> yeah, these little... The things with little tires do not like this bridge right here. It's a great bridge. Things with little tires just do not like it. Yeah, I'm curious to get on the multiplayer server and see what's going on, if anybody's been on there and play it or not. Uh, so for everybody wondering, we do have a multiplayer server for crossplay for everybody to play on on Farm Sim 22. We also have a PC only, which is a 16X map um, on Wild West. We also have a driving competition for American Truck Sim, Euro Truck Sim 2 going on right now through Truck Books. End of the month, uh, it will be over with. And if you have the most miles, you get the first pick of some merch or a community give back prize. We can get water from the lake. Nice. Very nice. Not drive too deep into the water. I didn't plan on it. I don't know why that even showed up. That's kind of weird. All right. I don't think this thing is going to hold too much water. We're about to go find out the... Man, I love the South American maps. Again, Estancia Apache was my favorite map from Farm Sim 19. Uh, 17 and then 19. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, where can I, I probably could have got water right here, but that's steep. That's very steep. Oh, that thing holds a ton of water, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna try to just back up right here and grab some water and pull forward. Try this a few times. I'm probably gonna end up in the water though. Uh, if we can do that, I might just sell this thing. I'm gonna lose a lot of money on it. Maybe I keep it. Maybe I just keep it. I could have leased it if I'd have known how much water this thing actually held. Aha! Perfect. Alright, that means I can probably just pull up and back up straight right there where that is then. Doop, 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 doop. Hello, on up. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna back up and pull up right here. Oh, uh, invisible hitbox. Oh, there's the old crusher going. All right, so 2,000 stone uh, and 1,200 water produce 4.5k lime. I don't have enough stone. I need more stone. Not quite far enough. Still not quite far enough. There we go. I don't know if I can get it back out of there now, though. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll see. I need to smooth that edge out some, too, I guess. I do own part of that, so... Oh, 
Oh, that didn't make it any... I think, they, I, think I made it worse. I mean, we're moving, but... Yeah, it did not smooth out, did it? That's <laughs> still like a sheer cliff right there. Try it again. There we go, that's better. Call that good. Try it now. Oh, I like it. I like it. It's a steady, it's a steady decline there. Sweet. I like it. I'm gonna take some concrete, I think, and paint it down in there. That way we can just uh, call it a boat ramp if we want to. Oh, it's as far as I can paint. Ah, oh, well, crappers. Okay. Uh, I hate the bushes being in the way. Don't make it bigger. Aha! Looks kind of silly like that, but... Get rid of those anyway. Uh, I guess I can do this now. like this that works right that's fine I mean, it looks a lot better anyway it's free water absolutely it is why not use it right Absolutely free water. Our uh, lime thing's kind of floating now, but hey, it's alright. <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing. All right, let's see. We need to store that, right? I think that's that's where the dude. That's that's thirty six hundred. It's not even moving the needle. How much water does this thing hold? I'm only gonna put one more, one more, two more loads in it at the most. Probably one more load in it. And then we'll skip till tomorrow. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be getting dark here soon anyway, so six o'clock at night. Time for dinner. And, uh, almost seven. Uh, time for dinner and, uh, we'll sleep. Not producing anything though. Oh, activate. That's why. Well, dang, there we go. All right. I'm just going to back this up out of the way here. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't roll downhill. Stay. Good. It's got wheel chocks under it. <laughs> that would have been that would have been bad. Had that just taken off into the water there. All right. I'll back off to the house now. Can't stand watching that wheel flip around like that. All right, off to bed we go. See if it needs uh, weeding tomorrow. Ding. Wonder what that was, it just cost us money. Loan, production cost. Oh yeah, need spraying for sure. 
All right, well, we know the drill. Let's go do some uh, some leasing here. Uh, I think I might actually buy the stupid thing this time, though. Uh, it's this one? None of these other ones have it, right? Spot spring? The spot spring is what we're after here. That'd be 80 grand to buy that like it is. 4,000 to lease it. I'll get the standard. What's the lease? 3,300. Yeah. Yeah, 3,300 for the, the standard is fine. Uh, and we do have some uh, herbicide still here. So let's see how much is here. 80, that's 1,200 liters? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. That's plenty. That's plenty. We'll get the herbicide down on the field. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to double check, see if I got crop destruction on or off here. Oh, it doesn't kill it in the first growth stage anyway, does it? Let's turn it back on. Just as a reminder not to run through my fields after they get past the first growth stage. If it does kill it, I'm gonna turn them off. I can promise you that. Yeah, we may not be harvesting sugar beet today, but we've definitely made some progress in the right direction. So. Uh, so I've got a cool mod on here. It takes auger wagons and turns them in, uh, turns it into a uh, uh, sugar beet cutter, basically. So when you put sugar beet in it, when it comes out of the pipe, it actually cuts the sugar beet. So I can take it and directly dump it in as cut sugar beet, which is gonna be kind of nice. But I only need to put in there uh, so much. So I may, I may put it all in my my silo to start with, see how much I have, and then try to use about half of it. For the uh, for the cut sugar beet, and I'll use the other half for regular sugar beet for the sugar meal. Go. Starting to get everything wrapped up here at the store, huh? Whoa. Okay then. Oh, we need to pick it up off the ground, I guess. Thought it looked low. It is low. Is very low actually. Gasolino. Is that what that said? It actually said gasolino. Is that a different word for Spanish? Uh, in Spanish for gasoline? Is it actually gasolino? That can't be right. I like this Cavernland sprayer though. I think it looks good. There's LED lights on it. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. I think J Rock was working on something one time that actually, you actually had to get out and hook up hoses uh, to be able to spray and, and Move your silage and all that kind of stuff in. Okay, just making sure. Uh, let's see. Let's turn that back on. Alright, let's do our normal. Let's go around the field. And, uh... 
This thing's gonna spot spray no matter what we do here. So it's only gonna spray the weeds, which is really neat. You can see it. I love that spot spray. It's expensive. It's like 40 grand, but uh, it, I've only bought one thing of herbicide, and and this is about the, the one, two, three. We got we got three harvest out of uh, our sugar cane. Oh, got three harvest out of our sugar cane, uh, and then all this too. I haven't. I've yet had. I've yet to have to buy more herbicide. So the spot spray is is ridiculously cool. Well, that's that's kind of a silly reason to ban somebody. Uh, I don't I don't I don't have much to say on the way streamers run their streams, but uh, seems like bad business model. <laughs> Nitro, I don't. I, I, it just seems like a bad business model to me. Uh, I don't want to talk bad about other streamers by any means. Everybody does things their own way, but hard to stay in business like that. I think. Also, there there have been people in the past that have openly stated that if uh, you can be there to watch streams, you can subscribe. So, uh, you know, again, that, not the way I do things, but uh, everybody has different ways of doing stuff, I guess. It's just so cool that it only sprays the weeds themselves. There's nothing else spraying. What a gr what a great uh, great tool this is to save money. It costs a ton of money to buy it. But it will save you tons in herbicide in the long run. Living in the future for sure, so hope you're doing well today. Hey, look at this thing, man. So cool. It's so neat. Fancy high-tech sprayer on this old John Deere 4755. Pretty doggone neat, though, I think. We missed one. Good thing about it is we can back up and it doesn't matter. Oh, no, we did miss one. Okay. All right, now we can hit the GPS. I don't really need... I mean, I can see the weeds, but... I figure we just run the GPS and let her go. Been lurking. This is the coolest thing I've seen you use in the game. Yeah, this is part of that precision farming, man. It's um, actually quite nice. Realistically, this is this is um, it's a realistic tool. I don't know how costly it is for real farmers, but uh, I feel like this right here would be uh, a lifesaver. Honestly, on a farm, you'd use so much less spray uh, for all of your needs, right? I mean, it's this a that's a cool cool piece of equipment right there. Uh, so. So the the rest of the precision farming DLC is really cool too because you can you can drill. Uh, it has variable seed rates, so like the 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 ground that's not as good as some of the other ground uses more seed. It'll take more fertilizer, more lime, that kind of stuff. Uh, your lime spreaders and fert spreaders automatically adjust, which is really really cool. I think I probably should go all the way to the top here and come back down. 
I want to go all the way down this line anyway, so. Uh, you can leave it on like it's running right now. But you see it's only spraying that one side right there was hitting those weeds. Uh, very cool piece of equipment. It's costly. It's 40 grand to add to. Uh, and there's only two sprayers that I have that, that have it that have it accessible. This one and the John Deere sprayer. Uh, if you needed a bigger tank, this one does have a uh, an extension that goes on the front. So, but yeah, it's it's very cool though. It's also 24 meters wide. I just opted for the 18 meter because I can take a little extra time. But I didn't need to spend the extra extra grand for no reason. So, I just figured. Use the 18 meter. If I had more fields, or when I get more fields, I'll definitely, uh, definitely be upgrading to something bigger, and we'll buy it at that point. But I got to get there first. Right now, I'm in in danger of going broke here. So, but yeah, this is probably the coolest piece of equipment I've used in all of farm sim, honestly. I don't think I've ever used a piece of equipment in this game at all that is this neat. It is just so cool right here. All right, let's go back over and go ahead and get that, that little area there. John Deere's 190 horsepower, yeah. Yep, the 4755 is 190 horsepower. Uh, it can also, so like I said, there's a John Deere one as well. So you got the Convernland with the... Uh, the extension on the front is 1100, 1800. Uh, then you get the John Deere Power Spray, which is part of the Precision Farming DLC, uh, but it only uses, uh, there's not even a horsepower requirement listed. So 3.8 tons, but, or kilograms, I guess. But yeah, uh, pretty pretty neat. What happened here? I thought I hit, thought I hit cruise. Did it stop when I went in the store? Couldn't have. Weird, but yeah, so there's only two that do it. Uh, yeah, see, that one doesn't even do it. But, uh, per, part of the Precision Farming DLC is the John Deere, and then I got the Cavernland mod on here, too. Which I'm glad I did now. Um, but yeah, such a, such an interesting piece of equipment, honestly. But yeah, small, me, medium, smaller, medium-sized tractors definitely have no issue with this. 190 horsepower, the old John Deere here. Uh... I do have a weight on the front that's pretty good size, but <laughs> uh, if I didn't, I would need it. You definitely need the weight or the extension. Put the extension on the front either one. Yeah, I like it, man. This is this is probably the coolest thing I've used in all of Farm Sim so far, to be quite fair. This and the the drilling and the, the precision farming as a whole. This specifically, though, is really, really neat. I definitely know it saved me some money. Uh, on herbicide alone again I haven't I haven't turned this thing off at all it's been running the whole time it's just not using any herbicide there's yeah you have to you have to test so you drill test the soil to see what it is um, I'll go I'll go hook up to my my fertilizer uh, spreader here in a second and show you what it looks like on the mini map it's really, really cool what it does. Uh, let me see if I can find the drill. I don't know where it's at. That's the biggest problem is I don't know where it's at. Uh, let's see. Is it in its own category? Miscellaneous? Miscellaneous. Here we go. Yeah, so uh, this, is the this is the tester. You see the little soil boxes down at the bottom there? Three little white soil boxes. It, take, it takes soil samples. Called the Scout. Pretty neat. It's pretty dang neat. Uh, I, I was I was not real sure about precision farming. I was like, ah, it sounds it sounds like too much. Uh, but it is. It's a lot. There's a lot of little extras. But it's really cool though. What's up, Jeremy? How's it going, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, man, Giants is, Giants is putting some work into this, and I don't think it was that they didn't know this stuff was out there. 
I think it was probably more along the lines of uh, getting it, getting it incorporated into the game. Uh, Giants really does the research on the equipment. I mean, all the stuff in the base game or in their DLCs is all real life equipment. So mod, you can't speak for mods because people mod stuff and put it on here, but or put it on the mod hub. So, uh, but a lot of modders do tend to go toward the more realistic feel t for stuff. So that's pretty neat too. But uh, Giants definitely, definitely, definitely uh, does the research on things. And again, I think they probably knew about you know all the precision farming stuff, but it was just trying to figure out how to code it to get incorporated into the game, probably. Uh, but great addition to the game. I was I was not really sure, and I was kind of against it. But after playing with it, I'm all for this. This is this is great stuff. But yeah, I mean you can see if you can see the numbers on the bottom right there, next to the little bottle with the X on it, the herbicide, uh, it's barely moving. Like it's barely moving at all. These heavier spots, you'll see it go down a couple of liters, but it's barely moving at all. I think that's it. I see like two more weeds over there. Yeah, you can see all the all the weeds. You see these two little, the little green spots right there. So I need to turn around and go get real quick. We're gonna we're gonna see this thing spray something here in just a second. Some there it is. Oop, one little spray there, that's it. And then we got these little spots right down here. Look on the map, you can see them. And I may have missed a little more around the edge, but I'm not worried about that, so. Yeah, stuff you can't even see. Like, it's just, it's just getting all of it. There you go, all gone. All done, all through. Go drop off our, uh... I hope I don't need to spray this again. Usually it's one and done for the spray, so... But yeah, really cool piece of equipment, the Convernalin stuff, but... Uh, I like this backpack sprayer. I remember the Convernalin DLC for 2019 was actually pretty neat, too. Uh, I can turn that off. I don't need that anymore. Go. We'll have them come pick that up for us. Oh no! Hang on, hang on. I don't need to do that yet. There we go. Now I can have them come pick it up. <laughs> I almost sent my my spray back to them. That's my spray. That's my herbicide. All right, I'm gonna grab the uh, the backpack spray here. I mean the backpack spreader. We're gonna go check this out. Uh, show you what the mini map does. All right, so the bottom bottom left corner there, uh, I know the glass is over it, but uh, I still should be able to see it anyway. There we go. Hook that up. I've got manual attached on too, which is really neat. Uh, all right, so watch the little mini map. You see how far out, how far uh, above the field two it is? Now look at this. This shows you what needs to be done, and if I turn this on, it'll only spread that where it needs it. It's not throwing anything out because nothing needs it right here. But you can see the different areas here where I drilled. You see the, the light green, the dark green, the darker green, and then the yellow over here. That's uh, nitrogen levels. Science, yes, absolutely. That's nitrogen levels in the soil. So I can turn that off because it's not going to take it anyway. So basically it won't let me throw fertilizer, lime, uh, or... Uh, herbicide out if it doesn't need it it won't waste it and that's just the that's, that's no mod other than the precision farming which is really really cool if you ask me I like having that manual attach on too it kind of adds a little bit of depth all right let's go check out our uh, our field info here all right so for right here we're in the loam this is the best area we're gonna have uh, we're getting 123 percent so a hundred point one I don't, I don't, I don't know what the the measurement is, but 100.1 to to uh, to per hectare, it looks like. 
uh, I don't know, a tons, 101 tons per hectare probably. All right, then this, instead of getting 123%, which is getting here, we're only getting 99%, so we're getting 80 tons per hectare. What's up, battery? How's it going, buddy? And then over here, we're only getting 64 tons per hectare. You saw on the minimap that yellow area? That's this part right here. Is that 64 tons per hectare? That's a huge difference. I mean, that's a that's a that's a 40, uh, 36 percent or 36 ton per hectare drop. But most of our fields gonna be 80 tons per hectare. So. And then this area down here is that uh, that dark green again, 100 tons per hectare. Uh, but you can see the, uh, oh, there's way too much. Oh, the nitrogen is actually perfect. It says 185, 140, but uh, I guess over putting too much nitrogen in is fine. I don't know. It may be because sugar beets. Sugar beets produce nitrogen, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know what the what the cause of that is. But yeah, so you got pH value, you got nitrogen, and then it shows you your expected yield. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I think. Myself, anyway. Yeah, Nitro, I'm with Bob there. I don't think I would be, uh, I don't think I'd even be bothering. All right, let's skip here. I want to see, is my, is my production actually paying out as I'm skipping? I don't know if it is. 109,000, it must be. It's been in 1,300 a day. Yeah, you see no weeds or anything. Everything's good. Uh, let's see. Let's go to money here. Uh, so production costs two eighty. Vehicle leasing costs that that killed us there. But fifty six hundred uh, is what we made from our production yesterday. So that's pretty good, I think. Right? Yeah, sold products. Pretty good. So we have to make more than thirteen hundred a day, basically. Uh, or more than more than two thousand a day to be in the positive, and we are in the positive. We have seven. We had we had one hundred seven thousand, so we're making money. It's slow, but we're making money, which is really good. Uh, our lime is all stored up. We got twenty two thousand lime, which is really really good. Um, I didn't think we were gonna get that much lime out of that. How did that happen? Two thousand lime equals forty five hundred stone. But only put 3,600 stone in there. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, so we still got uh, 313,000 sugar cane in here. We're about to have some sugar beets. So, uh, But as you can see, nothing changed. Still growing, so it means we can skip another day. Yeah, precision farming does way more than just... Uh, add an extra step to your farming. It actually it actually sciences the crap out of it, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see how much we ended up with this time. Uh, no lease cost that time, so that's good. Uh, 5582 so not quite as good the price is going to vary because we're selling sugar the price of sugar is going to vary daily as well but uh, we had a positive 3900 yesterday that's pretty good we're in november now so we'll see at the end of the day here uh positive 3900 that's really good that's really good stuff i don't mind that at all it's costing us roughly 240 production costs per day uh plus that so anything over two grand we're making a profit it's not much of a profit but it's a profit so we're at here growing everything looks good the land area is 9.6 acres so that's the that's the entirety of the land though that's this whole area so we got about eight acres probably of farmland uh which is um Was it two and a half acres as a hectare? So, about three, three hectares big or so. Uh, if we get a hundred, hundred tons per hectare, let's call it 300 tons. 
I'm guessing at, at measurements here, but I've never tried this. So. Uh, roughly 272,000 liters of sugar beets is what we're going to end up with. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good considering if we go look at our production here. Uh, sugar beet is two sugar beet to one sugar. Uh, five to three on this one for cut sugar beet. We're going to have cut sugar beet as well. Um, and uh, this is two to one. So sugar cane most definitely is the best way to go, but I want to try to keep some of all of it in there producing sugar. Uh, and then after we get enough money, we'll put another one of those down, put another sugar thing down. Lots of uh, cash sugar, yeah. Yeah, the sweet tooth should be should be filled, uh, honestly. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good, pretty good return. 2.47, I was pretty close, 2.5. So per one hectare. Uh, if it's 9.8 9 acres, uh, we'll say 8 acres. 8. Uh, 3.2 hectare uh, for eight, 8 acres, roughly. 3.2. All right, still growing. We'll see what stage it's in here. And again, yeah, I'm kind of cheating by skipping time and all that, but oh, we're still way early. It takes this stuff a long time, doesn't it? Uh, still making money though. Still making money. We're, we're going up steadily with money here for our, an hourly sales. If I was actually stacking these pallets and holding them till the best sell day, I could get a lot more money out of that sugar. But at the moment, I don't need to be leasing. Um, I don't need to be leasing a, a pallet jack daily. So. It's actually easier to just do it this way. We had 107,000 a minute ago. We've gone up three times in three days, uh, uh, or three times in six days, whatever. So. Yeah, pretty good. Looking good. Getting darker there. Should be able to remove tops tomorrow. I don't know about doing it in the snow, but uh, I know if it's raining, it doesn't matter. So. Not a whole lot of daylight in the wintertime there, is there? <laughs> We're in February now. Oh, man, look at the snow everywhere. All over the field. Uh, dark, good deal. Good deal. Dark green now. Man, the snow is everywhere. must have rained. I mean, snowed hard. Look at this. Is the, is the lake frozen? The lake is not frozen. We can still swim in it. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, this, this whole single-player series is basically for science. Um, Relearning GPS. Uh, never worked with precision farming before, and I've never played on Nova Estancia, and I really like the South American maps most of the time. Remove foliage. All right, so it's ready. Uh, it is ready to harvest. All right, so I'm going to pull out the old calculator here, and we're going to do some maths real quick on how much this is going to cost me because I'm probably going to get the big sugar cane, I mean, the big beet technology here, the Teradas T440 um, harvester. So, um, holds 45 meter uh, cubic meters, which is the same as the Grammy. Six miles an hour, six miles an hour. All right, to lease it is going to be uh, I definitely want GPS. So to lease it is going to cost me 26.010 base cost. Okay. Then we need the header, the header for it. Beat technology for the T440. So it's 5.4 meters wide. It's actually a pretty nice reach on it there. Uh, plus 54.31. Okay, 31,000. Uh, and then we need an auger wagon. Uh, and any of these is fine. It can be the small ones. That's fine too, as long as it's got the, the sugar beet available for it. I think all these hold sugar beet. No, they don't either. 
Uh, yeah, so all these hold sugar beet. It doesn't matter how much they hold. I don't even care about that. I'll just have to make more trips. So I could get the mother bin, but those are, I mean, that's not really any more expensive, really. It holds a ton, too. Look at that. 200, 211 uh, cubic meters versus uh, 2.4. I mean, 24 cubic meters. Um, I mean, I don't know. As long as it's one of these sugar beet uh, cutter packs, it's fine. Uh, and I can save myself some money by going smaller, but man, uh, doing this in one load would be great. What is, what is, uh, what is cubic? How many, how many liters is that? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know. How many liters is 77 cubic meters? 46 to 70. I mean, that wouldn't be bad either. But if I'm going to do 115, I'm going to do 113. Uh, and if I got to make a couple trips, I think it's fine. Let's get, let's get a small one here. We don't need one of the big ones. One meter cube is 100. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. Thanks, Richard. Uh, yeah, so one meter squared. I mean, one meter cubed. Is, I said squared. One meter cubed is uh, is 100 or 1,000? 1,000, not 100. Oh, 1,000. Okay. Okay, so 77,000 liters, basically, is what that holds. Uh, this holds 141,000. Yeah, I feel like we're going to need at least uh, two or three trips. So, 77,000 liters. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cubic, cubic, cubic meters. So this holds 33,000. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'm not going to need a whole lot there. All right. Uh, yeah. There's no extension or anything on it. That's 3876. And that is 35,317 is what I'm going to need just to lease the equipment to make this harvest. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to get to it today. I don't have time. I'm, I'm out of time today. Uh, the next stream uh, in the afternoon, I will go a little longer. I just have some more stuff to get done today that I did not get done between the streams. So uh, when you get a sugar cane planted, it is ready. You can see there. The ground's nice and nice and ready for us to harvest. Got to remove that Welcome foliage. Back. True with 10 months sub support. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Ten months, the results are in. It's your baby. Oh no, oh no! I can't afford the support. I can't afford the child support. True, thank you, buddy, for ten months of sub support. Those some hearts and plunders from Golden TP in chat for True Man of War for the tier three sub. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Uh, it caught me right at the end, True. Uh, but yeah, I've got to take off for today. Uh, I appreciate you. We got our sugar sugar beets planted, and the next time we're going to be running some sugar beets and cut sugar beets. I'm going to be using my little trailer, or when I fill up, I'll just go empty over there. Uh, so we'll probably start on this side this time. Something I don't typically do. We'll start harvesting over here, and uh, we'll be running back and forth on this side to kind of free up our space. To we're going to dump our sugar beets straight in, and then we're going to take our sugar beet cutter and get out what we want of it, uh, and put it all in the sugar mill, and we can produce some more sugar here. Uh, for the future so and we're down to 193 sugarcane already so we're gonna get some more sugarcane in there too um and hopefully uh we'll get enough sugar beet in there and sugar cut sugar beet that we can we can hold off until we get some more sugarcane done uh, i'm no longer going to be selling sugarcane directly all of it's going into the sugar mill so because uh, right now we're still making money we're making roughly 3500 a day um total so pretty good pretty good roughly 3500 bucks a day just from sugar uh, processing stuff uh, but either way i appreciate you folks i will see you all later if i'm not on youtube or twitch tomorrow it's because i'm uh completely rearranging where my tower computer tower is sitting uh hopefully i can get it done and i'll be streaming tomorrow that is the plan anyway i appreciate y'all and i will uh y'all next time is anybody streaming right now go see let's let's go let's go see who's down here uh, nope. I was going to see if J-Rock was streaming. He's not. Uh, I appreciate y'all folks, and I will see y'all next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Be right back. Screen's going to be the end screen today. Later, folks.